Hello everybody. I just wanted to say a few words more about Logitech webcams. Um, we have a few of these. In fact, I've got three all connected up here. Uh, this is the C920, very standard webcam. You'll probably see these around the lab. Uh, this is the Brio, slightly higher resolution, more expensive one. Um, and this is the newer Logitech Streamcam. And they each have their pros and cons. Uh, this is um, the cheapest, most expensive in between. Uh, this one is newer. One thing you might know, need to know about the Logitech Streamcam is that it comes with a USB-C connector. So we do have some small USB adapters and of course I can't find one now when I need it, but we have some small adapters which will allow you to plug these into a regular USB port if that's what you have on your machine. One of the reasons you might want to use one of these cameras, even if you have a perfectly good one already built into your laptop, is that they um, are more easily maneuvered. You can point them at different things, uh, and in particular you can do something like sit them on top of a monitor, which means that they're then at a better height uh, if you are talking to them, um, especially if you make sure that the window you're talking to is near the top of the screen or near the camera that uh, the, 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 that's filming you. Um, laptop cameras tend to be a little bit low and you don't really want to be looking down at, uh, at your audience too much if you're recording a lecture. So uh, one thing that many people don't know is that Logitech also provides software with which you can configure and enhance these a little bit. So I just thought we could take a quick look at that now. So if we go to the Logitech support site uh, and go to downloads, we get this remarkably poorly designed page and there are various apps here. There's this one called Logitech Capture down here which people have said nice things about but it's only in beta on the Mac at the moment anyway and it didn't work at all for me. Um, however what I want to focus on today is camera settings. So this is a little app which you can download for whichever operating system you have but here's one I prepared earlier. Right, now this app is a little bit eccentric uh, and uh, at the moment I have, you can see, I have several Logitech cameras plugged in. I'll switch to the Brio here, which, just because it's in the middle of my screen. And what you get here is a view of the image coming from that camera as it would then be fed to Skype or Zoom or Panopto or whatever it is that you are um, looking at and I need to click up here to get rid of that. Now the first thing this lets you do at least on the Brio is to pick your field of view here because that's actually what the camera can capture. I don't believe there's any um, optical zoom even on the Brio so I think this is a digital crop certainly on the other cameras it is uh, and in fact this field of view section if I switch to say the stream cam here you can see here that um, back to home. You can see it's not there. Right. However, what you do have here on, on all of these cameras is little zoom settings here and if I click the zoom on here then uh, I have basically cropped my image uh, to something that's more like a headshot if you want a headshot and um, and because I've cropped it I can then also move around within that cropped area and um, uh, and pick the, the bit that I want to transmit out to the app. Now of course if you're doing a recording, what you, in a way if you're using any decent video editing software you don't really want to do this because what you're doing is cropping and throwing away information that you might want to use later. However if all you're doing is talking on Skype or Zoom or indeed if you don't want to fiddle with the aspect ratio and the cropping of your image afterwards then this may be a useful, a useful feature. So um, I'll go back out here for, for the moment to the full view and I think when I'm using the, uh, the Brio camera um, I'm guessing that uh, you do have to keep going up to the top to click home here to get rid of that little dialogue at the bottom. Um, I think these things are probably just shortcuts for particular crops. Um, as I say, I don't think there's any optics there. However, the Brio is a higher resolution camera. This is a 4K capable camera, and so actually cropping it in 
you're not going to, to really have any loss of quality for most of the resolutions that you're likely to be recording um, for, for lectures or for streaming. So let's sort of see what else we have here. We can um, switch between widescreen and standard aspect ratios. Um, a little hard to see that on here. No, I can't change the window size. So um, on some of the other cameras, it's a little more obvious. Let me just go over to the 920, which is probably the most common one that people will have. And uh, home. And uh, if I go to widescreen, I think that's what I'm already on. Say so this this software does need some improvement, but if I go to standard, you'll you'll get the idea I'm sort of cropped in more closely. So uh, these controls you need to experiment with. They don't necessarily do exactly what you'd predict. One thing that might be useful depending on the lighting you're using, um, I was recording some footage of my wife uh, with a different camera, but we had an LED light bulb, a sort of table lamp, which was visible in the background, and you could see a flicker on that uh, if you were recording at NTSC frequencies, and you couldn't see a flicker if you were recording at PAL frequencies. So um, often it's useful to keep stuff on 60 hertz because many movies end up being produced at 30 frames per second, and it's nice to have a straight multiple. However, if you do have lighting visible or if you get any flicker problems, then switching your input source to 50 hertz might well be useful. And then in the advanced section here, um, you can change things like the brightness. Usually I don't find, I think the automatic settings work pretty well on these. Contrast, ugh, that's pretty horrid. Um, color intensity, if I'm looking too dull. Um, and the white balance is normally automatic, but you may want to tweak this if you have funny lighting where you are. Um, I think the auto usually works fairly well. However, the thing you might conceivably want to tweak is the autofocus. And it is um, occasionally the case that these will lose focus and hunt uh, for you. And this will let you turn it into a manual focus. So assuming you're staying basically the same distance from the camera, you can then um, uh, you can then fix your focus and know that it's not going to do anything awkward in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the recording. So there you are. I'll just run something to show you that this really is what's coming out. So let's think. What can I do? Actually, I've got a I've got a handy little um, a handy little Mac app. This is a free utility recommended by the way called Quick Camera here, um, which is just a way of uh, viewing um, the sources your your live video sources here. And you can see at the moment I have lots plugged in. So that's coming from my Mac camera down there. Uh, this is coming from the C920 over here, which is the one I'm currently editing. So to give you an idea, imagine this was Skype or Zoom or something over here. And uh, as I change the focus, you can see that uh, that is that will affect what goes out to Skype. And in fact, if I go back here and say change the zoom, that will also do the same. So you can cut out some of the clutter if maybe your room is is untidy and you want to you want to hide some of the background. Maybe this app will be useful for that. Anyway, I just thought I would let you know about that because not many people do. You don't have to take these cameras just as they come out of the box. You can tweak them with this camera settings um, app. I don't believe, though I'm not sure, that these settings are remembered. So you may want to have this running um, if you are actually uh, wanting to tweak it before doing a recording or something. We'd need to investigate that. I haven't tried yet. hope that's useful.